what's up guys welcome back to yet another video on my youtube channel in today's video we'll be looking at editing one of the images i shot from my one light home studio photo shoot under budget so that i posted earlier i'm going to leave up here a link to that particular video and also leave down in the description just so if you can find it up here in the description there'll be a link to that particular video go watch how i got these amazing images i shot just using one light my speed light my canon 60 100 millimeter which of course you can use different lenses i explained in that video and my godox v 60 mark 2 flash speed lights like i mentioned and a 120 deep octa if i didn't mention that all right so here in capture one one might ask why am i not using lightroom just because i've been using lightroom a lot i'm using capture one just so you know the skin treatment in capture one when it comes to 60 images I like it more better here in capture one than in lightroom because lightroom i think is favorable for the mac 4s and the above cameras if you're looking at um, how smooth or how good it will treat your skin for you the only the only issue here is that you don't have that pro standard issue where or pro standard setting under the icc profile where you can use to fix these reddish undertones if you really don't want them and i for one don't really want these reddish undertones i wanted them to look as close to what i saw when i was shooting this lovely model here right so with that when i, I think i've already worked on this image and i'm trying to do that again so all i have to do when you open the icc profile if you're using any 60 camera you would see show recommended or show all when you tap on show all you're really going to see all of these then i'll come here into canon go to my 5d mark 4 and pick up my pro standard and just take a look at the before and the after with just the pro standard what i'm looking at is not this particular one i just want um that i'm going to battle this is the before right it looks too greenish for me i'm going to battle that with that tint over here for the tint slider and i think i'm back to having my skin color looking the same right but that undertone of red underneath her skin has been taken off am i right just take a look at this side when i toggle this is before and after or well, let me just use a split viewfinder before and after before and after but then with the corrected tint right so that's that i like what i'm seeing Secondly, I'm going to correct this light fall off over here. I think somewhere there is fine for me. I really don't like using or don't like having a lot of sharpness in my image. Just so that, you know, I don't do frequency separation. So I want my images to be as smooth as possible, but still retaining textures on my skin. So I'm going to take away the sharpness on this image. You can still see the texture, but you can feel how smooth and how... Uh, um, um, what was the word? Um, I, I, I think I can find a word, but yeah, you get what I mean. So let's just leave it there. And that's that. Next is exposure fixing. So I'm going to add a bit of contrast to this. Open up my exposure just a little bit. Right? Reduce my saturation ever so slightly. Reduce my vibrance, come into my high dynamic range, open up my shadows, not too much. The whites are not really doing anything. Let's see what the highlights are doing. Neither. Just because you don't have enough, enough information in the highlights, nor in the whites. So if I should bring this here and I reduce this, I think you're going to get some information being reduced. But that's not what I want. I want it. All my background as dark as possible so this is the before and this is the after this is where we are right now back to color grading i am going to pick up the color editor just tap on the background increase the range to which i can affect let's see if you select a color range i hope you're not touching the outfit yep that's how you get to see if you're affecting any other color from what you want selected and there i have this so i'm going to change the hue from this greenish to more cyan-ish 
to add a little bit not too much saturation too much saturation so i'll just add like d and reduce the lightness ever so slightly so minus two is fine for me i'm just going to show you the before and the after the before and the after right now we can go on to her skin i think i don't like the slide i like the full view so before and after let's take a look at her skin i'm seeing some yellowish undertones here and there but that reddish undertone has been toned down a notch and that's what i'm looking for so what i want to do is just make sure the face matches before we try and send this into photoshop so i'll pick up the skin tone and one thing I like about Capture One is that I can create a new empty field clone hue layer. So let's create a new field layer. Just so you know what the field layer is looking like, hold M on the keyboard and you have that. So color matching. Let's rename this to face color matching. I use a field layer just so because I want to see the effect happening in real life. And let's zoom this out a little bit pick up our color picker to where we really want to see so i think somewhere here is fine for me right um change the hue to what i want if i move it to the right i'm making it more yellowish then i'm going to move it to the left uh, reduce the saturation just slightly open up the lightness a little bit then try and unify it so i think some other is fine for me, add the saturation to this, unify the saturation together with the lightness. So if I toggle, let's zoom out first. Toggle between this, you're going to see how this is affected. I like what I'm seeing on the other side of the skin. So what I'm going to do is, I right click, pick up the brush tool first by holding B on the keyboard, right click and invert mask so when i hold m this time around you don't see anything until i paint in so i'm just going to paint in the areas i want the effects to show so i'll paint in here and paint in the right above the lip and underneath the eye getting closer to the side of the face i just don't want to see any of those yellow undertones i was seeing earlier all right hold space bar zoom out then i'm just going to paint over the skin because i liked what i saw when we were trying to check out the before and the after don't worry when you see your mask spilling all right there's one thing i'll show you real pretty soon because it works really really well let's remove the mask that's not what we want okay make sure these are painted that and that right so let's hold m on the keyboard and toggle it up so let's see a quick before and after before and after before and after what next i want to do is refine the mask so i'll hold m on the keyboard just to show the mask right click on the layer we just created over here and go to refine mask let's move this aside and see what the refine mask is doing so let's move it all the way to 158 and let me zoom in i like what i like what it's doing it's refining the marks we just created onto the skin so i'll zoom in and i can see it's been on the lips i don't want it on the lips so i'll paint it out I held E on the keyboard to get an eraser tool and clean it out of the and here on the eye too. I see it spilling all over the nose and this part of the eye. Let's see here. It's fine for me. So one last toggle before and after. I really like what I'm seeing. So the next thing I want to do is color grade this particular image. I'm going to hold and pick up a new field layer and rename this to color grading and with color grading we are bound to use the color balance too so when i hold m on the keyboard you realize it's still filled right so i'm going to add some warmth into the midtones which is where all the colors are i can go way overboard with this just because i know i'm going to do something to this later and 
add some teal into my highlight, right? And reduce the warmth by adding some coldness into the shadows. Just take a look at how this has even changed the image totally. I'm going to add more warmth into the metals. So the next thing I can do to this is to reduce the opacity. You guys know I like reducing my opacity a lot. So reducing opacity is the best thing to do after going overboard with this. Let's see before and after. It's just in the a pinch of it that color graded. I can also reduce the lightness of the metals and there I have this. So if I really want to see what I have done so far with the before and after, I, all I have to do is just right click on this and create a new variant. So I've taken the liberty to create that new variant already and this is what you get to see. So this is the before right from camera SOCC, camera standard ISO 100 F4, shutter speed 1 over 160, 100mm on a 6D. This is the colors I'm getting from it and trying to fix it, make it look presentable and okay to be worked on in Photoshop. This is where we ended. If you have any questions, kindly leave them down in the comment section below. Kindly let me know what your problems are. Do you really want me to do more of these Capture One editing tutorials here on my YouTube channel? Let me know down in the description. Leave a thumbs up if this video was informative for you. I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of a learning curve for me too. So don't forget to subscribe as usual. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon just so that when I drop the video of the one I'll be editing in Photoshop, you'll be one of the very first people to know it's up. I'm also going to leave down in the description a link to this particular raw file, this particular image, just so to let you know that I thank you guys for sending me to the 5k subscribers. I haven't forgotten. I've just been going through a lot, but yeah, I'm going to leave this particular image, the raw file of this image down in the description. Download it, follow the steps, show me what you can do when it comes to just color grading. And when I release that of the Photoshop, you can also show me how you can combine both your color grading and the skin retraction and show me the full image. I'm sure I'm going to put some instructions there so I don't really need to be seeing people posting all of this, which is not something I'm want, I, I really want to see. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.